Hi guys and welcome to my next uh, module on the five reasons that people don't buy. Uh, my name's Paul Broom and I'm from thesalescoach.co.uk so you'd find that online www.thesalescoach.co.uk um, The five reasons people don't buy I've already uh, shared with you. Hopefully you've seen those modules so you understand. Um, you really need to see these in order to keep up, really. Um, no need, no desire, no money, no trust, no hurry. Those are the five reasons. Look for that in a previous um, video that I've done. I've covered no need in a separate video, so I've actually broken them down one by one. I've covered no desire. Today I'm going to talk to you about no money. Um, might seem obvious, but if a client doesn't have any money then they're uh, not going to buy from you. They can't buy, they simply don't have capacity. Uh, but that on its own isn't enough uh, for a salesman just to go, well, don't you have the money and walk away? We need to investigate uh, when they're likely to have money um, or we need to be offering them other solutions such as, uh, I mean, certain industries we can offer credit cards so they can put on their credit card they can maybe take a loan they can remortgage there's all sorts of ways of raising funds that as a salesman we need to sort of look at in terms of whether we can actually help our client to put them in a position where they have got some money at the very worst we should be at that stage um, if they de if we definitely work out that actually they've got no money, they've got no capacity, there's nothing going forward, they've got no credit cards, they've got no loan facility, they can't actually go ahead with us, we then should not be continuing with our conversation with regard to trying to sell them what we, uh, what we, what we have, because they don't qualify, it's all about qualification. Each of these here is an individual qualification. If you don't qualify, you stop. So if, if they don't have a need, there's no point in trying to create a desire because they don't have a need, is there? So each one of these is a qualification. So once we, under, once we know full well that they don't actually have any money, there's no uh, ability to raise any, they can't get a loan, they can't remortgage, can't use their credit cards, all the other ways that they can find money, beg, steal or borrow, then uh, there's no point in us continuing on our journey, which is actually to try and uh, create a deal. Um, what I would say to you is if you do continue on your journey and continue, I've seen it so many times where um, salespeople have just continued to try and sell when the client either doesn't qualify on no need, no desire, no money, no trust, no hurry, one of those reasons and they still continue to try and sell. Of course they're never going to get the deal, all they're doing is putting practice in for themselves but worst of all they're actually blowing a lead because that, that inquiry could be good down the road. You could talk to them in six months or a year's time um, and they could be in a different position. Um, they, they may have, you know, fortune may have changed for them and, and we, we, we see that all the time. I, I speak to clients all the time whereby um, last year they couldn't go ahead for whatever reason. They're doing this, that or the other, going on holiday. T other things take priority over what you're offering. That's perfectly fine. Stick them on the back burner. Don't try and have the conversation with them. Um, you'll notice I don't use the word presentation or, or pitch or anything like that. I, I don't like those words. I think they're dreadful words and they should have been left miles in the past. Uh, reason for that is that if you're pitching, you're blinkered. You're on a um, blinkered journey. You're going from A to Z without really considering what the client needs. I prefer that we have a conversation, we have a chat, we do some active listening, we understand what they're doing, what they're saying, what they're doing, what their desires are, what their needs are, what, and then we offer a solution to match. That, that's, what, that's our job. So, um, yeah, fact of the matter is if they've got no money, stop, stop trying to sell to them. Because at the end of the day, or stop talking to them in relation to your solution because they don't have the money to pay for it. And somewhere down the road, they may have to give you an opportunity to talk to them then. But so if they don't have any money, what we should be saying to them is, OK, do you think it's likely that your position is going to change in the next six months, year, 18 months or two years? Yeah, in two years, I'll, much be, I'll probably be in a better position. I'll have had the operation or in two years, my husband will have done this, that or the other or will have taken our holiday or whatever. In fact, strangely enough, um, this is an inquiry that I had in for another business. Um, I spoke to the lady, it's just uh, jumped into my head actually. I spoke to the lady 
maybe 18 months ago initially. Actually, it was three years ago. Initially three years ago. Spoke to her. Periodically, I pick the phone up and say, how are things? You know, things improved, blah, blah, blah. And we have a nice conversation. So we've built a nice rapport. Okay. That doesn't, to me, it's not about selling today. It's about selling at some time. So it's about me doing a deal with that client at some time. And in order to do that, you have to build a relationship. So I'll just pick the phone up and say, hi, I um, just thought I'd get in touch again, or, or you asked me to give you a call in the summer, I've called you back. It's, just, it's not to sell you anything, it's just to try and have a bit of an update so I can update my system so I understand what you're doing, what, where you're going, um, in terms of uh, our conversation. And she'll go, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I picked the phone up on this particular client, and, she, and it was a husband, and he went, well, I don't know anything about it. And I went, oh, that's strange, because so, we had quite a long chat. He said, well, we've only just got remarried. Uh, we've only just got married, um, and blah, blah. Anyway, he said, do you want to come out this afternoon and have a look? And I thought, oh, this is a bit... I didn't expect that to reply because I hadn't ever had the conversation with him. And um, I then qualified him. I then went through the, um, the why with him, what we, the need. I then aligned my solution to his need. And then we talked whether they were in a position to fund it at the moment. And um, yeah, that was great. We'd obviously built some trust up because I'd been talking to his, uh, to his, um, his wife now uh, over a period of time without trying to sell to her, just by generally talking. Uh, and then I created some urgency and I went over in the afternoon and I, and I closed it um, because I'd done my job properly and not tried to rush it. But that effectively was a no deal a little bit further back because they didn't have any money. Anyway, I digressed a bit, but it was just to help you um, understand that no money doesn't mean it's never going to be a deal. Stick it on the back burner, down the road, revisit it. Chances are, um, you know, their fortunes may have changed. Um, so that's no money. So we've dealt with no need, no desire, no money. Next one we're going to do for you is no trust. Hopefully I'm building some trust with you as we do this as well. Um, look me up. Look, go on the website, www.the-salescoach.co.uk. Um, send me an email, ping me, I'll respond to you. Um, give me a call if you like. There's a number on, on there, you can just click on the number, give me a call, we'll have a chat. If there's anything that you um, need in terms, of, uh, in terms of how to generate more business, that usually means there's one of two issues. A, you're not generating enough um, leads. B, you're not converting the leads that you do have. Any of those two things we can help you with. We can help you with uh, motivational um, type speaking. We can help you with team building exercises. We can help you to um, understand how to build a pipeline for the future as well. So there's loads of things that we can help you with. Pick up the phone, ask me if we can help. Let's find out if we can for you. And if we can, we'd love to see you. Okay, so um, I look forward to seeing you on the next module, which will be No Trust. Um, again, very simple one to, to work out. Uh, again, we do that very simply with our clients, and I'll talk to you about that on the uh, next module. So I look forward to talking to you then. Uh, it's paul at the salescoach.co.uk, and I'll speak to you soon.